Uh, I'm Maureen McGuire. I'm a biostatistician in the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Pennsylvania. I um, organize uh, and design, analyze uh, multicenter clinical trials, multicenter clinical research in other areas as well. Age-related macular degeneration is a uh, disease that affects uh, the retina, uh, the part of your eye that is responsible for seeing. Uh, it starts off in a very early stage as uh, drusen or small yellow deposits, which usually don't have any impact on vision, but um, many people progress to the later advanced forms, which include uh, a neovascular form or wet AMD. Uh, wet AMD affects about 1.6 million people in the United States. Our objective uh, was uh, to study two drugs that are available for the treatment of wet AMD. Uh, one drug, Lucentis, had been proven in clinical trials to be extraordinarily effective in the treatment of wet AMD. A second drug, Avastin, had not been tested in clinical trials but was being widely used by ophthalmologists for the treatment of wet AMD and we wanted to find out if Avastin was indeed as good as Lucentis. We studied patients who had uh, wet AMD. Uh, most of those patients, uh, the average age is about 80, so uh, these are uh, older uh, folks. The results uh, of this study uh, tell us that uh, Lucentis and Avastin uh, provide very similar results at one year on vision, and that's a, a very important finding. Um, the results also tell us uh, that when we treat only when there are signs of active neovascularization, we get very similar results. Um, the important thing to uh, know for all patients is that with either one of these drugs, we get very good results. Patients uh, see at one year as well as or better than they did when they walked in. Just 10 years ago, when a patient walked into uh, a doctor's office with wet AMD, they could expect to almost certainly lose not one letter, but 15 or 20 letters on the eye chart. So we've gone from having patients uh, facing a lot of disability because of their vision to a case where they need to have multiple treatments, but they pre preserve their vision. We collect all the data here, and we're lucky enough to analyze the data as well. We have a photograph reading center, uh, which um, interprets the photographs from all of the 1,200 patients in the study, provides interpretations with regard to study eligibility, and how the patients are doing with respect to anatomy. In addition, the formal department chair here, uh, Dr. Stuart Fine, uh, was the study uh, co-chair. Macular degeneration is a chronic disease. It does not go away after one year. We will be studying our patients for another year to see how they do in their second year, whether the need for um, so many treat treatments persists, whether the visual benefits persist, and whether there are any changes in the adverse events.